So Sneeko ended up talking crap. And well, somebody ended up receiving that and well, decided to wanna dish it out with him. I'm sure by now you've already heard the story about how some MMA fighter, champion MMA fighter wants to fight Sneeko because Sneeko was making fun of his appearance. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a summary as to what happened because the main idea that I wanna get across is why you shouldn't just talk crap about anybody and most importantly, how to safely talk crap to another person. So Schnicky was doing his usual, right? He was doing a live stream and of course he was just roasting everybody that came across his uh, Discord page because his audience likes to send him videos for him to react to. What the fuck? I love China. Now he ended up coming across Mikey's video and of course, Sneeko being Sneeko had to make fun of the video. Like, how is there a combat sport where these people, like they look like the solo boy collage. And this is a competition where you just, it's a, it's an art and it's an art form, but I learned from the master. He looks like Mark Zuckerberg. He shouldn't be winning. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I first saw Sneeko deliver those lines, I thought it was pretty funny. But I also understand that when you make fun of someone's appearance, they also feel bad about it, which is why, <clears throat> let me clear my throat, I no longer make fun of people, except for people who consent to it, such as Sneeko. Unfortunately for Sneeko, however, he doesn't understand consent. So he'll just make fun of everybody. If I was a man, I would take so If I was a man, if I was a man. So much- What's my thoughts on Sneeko? I don't like him. He's feeding off of negativity. He's getting rich off of negativity. Yeah, you could do a bunch of things. I could have been rich off of negativity, but- I Yeah, but you're still poor and talking about me. And for Sneeko, there is no downtime when it comes to making fun of people because even when he's being heavily scrutinized by a certain someone or whoever is scrutinizing him or questioning him, for some reason, he still has to make fun of a person's appearance. Like for instance, when Heel Mike was pressing Sneeko for being a hypocrite, this happened about like six months ago. And for some reason, Sneeko could not help himself but make fun of Heel Mike's appearance. Yeah, 100% it is. What do you mean it doesn't? You look like you got rejected from the KKK. I look, look like, like I got rejected from the KKK? KKK? You look like an incest dude who failed acceptance into the white national Buddy, I was army. just in the hot tub with the girl you were trying to simp with. What are you trying to get her you in a like, What you are you trying like to wipe her up? Storm in the Capitol. Listen, like you, you can you make fun like of my looks. You can make fun CIA of my looks agents. all I want. You can make fun of my looks all you want. You know it. The Quran says four wives, not four girlfriends, buddy. Damn. Like, Sneeko was just trying to, like, have fun with his appearance, but he or Mike just took it to, like, a whole other level, a personal level. But nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is that Sneeko just doesn't know when to stop making fun of people because even when Mikey challenged Sneeko, Sneeko rejected it. Even though he rejected it and said, oh, like, you're gonna beat me up, he still continued to make fun of Mikey in the next live stream. Hey, bro, they, if I show up to the gym, are they gonna fucking, is it gonna be a bunch of Mark Zuckerberg dudes? Oh, you bullied? Wait till you take your lunch money today, buddy boy. That's the Sneeko bully. Get him, fellas. And they fucking, <laughs> You get that bully! <laughs> and ultimately, Mikey just ended the whole beef with an Instagram story that just read I had zero intentions of harming Sneeko and just wanted to just showcase to Sneeko how effective jujitsu can be. All right, so now that we've gotten that story out of the way, I want to go ahead and talk about why I don't think it's a good idea to want to make fun of people. You see, because Sneeko, I, I believe uh, Fresh and Fit as well, these guys are for the idea that there should be a bit of bullying in someone's life. Now, I wanna go ahead and rephrase that because every single time I hear Sneeko or even Fresh and Fit talk about bullying someone, what I think that they mean is teasing, when you make fun of someone's appearance in a playful way. Now, I don't know if this is exactly how they feel or see bullying in their eyes, but I feel like I have a good idea based off of how they reacted when Neon got bullied. Got his ass lacking. Hey, what size y'all want? Let me see what we do with his shirt. Look at his shirt. Rip all type of stuff, boy. You know not to come around here talking like that. Yeah. Hey, flip me up, flip me up. Hey, oh, we on his ass. Come on, bro. Take his glasses off. The glasses. How much they gonna sell for? Come on, bro. YouTube money. We taking all of that. Hey, and we keeping your phone, boy. We taking the video right on your phone. You a bitch, right? I'm not playing with you. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Yeah, you.
Bitch, come on, bro. Yo, what the fuck? Now, whether you believe that this video is fake or not, that's totally up to you. To me, I'm not really concerned about the validity of the video. What I am concerned about is Myron's reaction. Yeah, yeah you a Bitch, come on, bro. Yo, what the fuck? That is a genuine reaction from Myron. And so, to me, that tells me that yeah he doesn't really approve of bullying based off of the reaction he's giving here in this video so this has led me to believe that he's more about teasing than he is bullying if we take a look at the definition of bully it reads to seek harm intimidate or coerce someone perceived as vulnerable but i like wikipedia's definition a little more bullying is a use of force coercion hurtful teasing which we're going to get into hurtful teasing or threat to abuse aggressively dominate or intimidate now i want to show you guys the definition of teasing which reads intended to provoke or make fun of someone in a playful way now teasing isn't bad in itself a lot of group social groups do it i do it as well with my friends uh, i'm sure that you do it as well but i want to show you guys an example of what it looks like when it's hurtful teasing just leave just leave clown world clown world damn you're bigger than i thought god damn oh, god. <laughs> fucking sumo wrestler <laughs> This nigga, man. Yo, she way more than me, bro. Guarantee. <laughs> Holy. That is hurtful teasing. The reason why I it's very impactful towards someone is because oftentimes the person who is being picked on or uh, being teased on, they haven't come to terms with who they are yet. There's a lot of people out there who have constructed insecurities around whatever they don't like about their body, whether it's, you know, being plus size or they're a virgin. Like for instance, the most common one is plus size people, right? Nobody really understands what they go through and they have like this preconceived notion of, oh, you know, it's because they eat a lot, which is why they're so big. But the thing is that there's just so much rooted beyond that psychologically. Oftentimes a person who is plus size, they don't like the word fat because they associate that word with insults and people judging them. So imagine the one word that you need to hear in order for you to recognize that you have a problem, you don't wanna hear it. How are you ever supposed to correct your own body if the one word that you need to hear is associated with all of this negativity? Oftentimes when somebody's all like, but they have to hear it, they have to hear it, but they don't wanna hear it. During that moment when they were being made fun of or teased, they felt like they had little control. I mean, imagine, all right, you're in the middle of all of these people just laughing at you. You have one person that's just poking fun of you, making jokes, and the rest of them are just laughing. You have very little control in that situation. What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna insult them back? Well, guess what? No one else is gonna laugh with you. They're all just gonna look at each other and just burst out laughing because you're trying. In that group, the person who is teasing you already has the social validation. And so they're gonna laugh with him and they're gonna laugh at you. So what does a person do in a situation like that when they have no control? They built this paradigm where they believe they have control and so they'll lie to themselves and then create this narrative that makes it seem like it makes sense but in reality doesn't. Therefore, when you see plus size people say, oh, this is a lifestyle, this is by choice, that's the only thing they feel like they're in control of when they phrase it in, in that manner. And what's funny is that even Sneeko, he recognizes that. Like, you remember, like, I remember standing in circles at school and stuff like that. And like, there's like a group of people talking and then you say a joke and then nobody reacts. Or like, you just say something and like that, like, am I here? Like, <laughs> did anybody just hear what I said? Or, like, am I invisible? And then someone repeats the joke louder and then they all get a laugh. Like, what the f yeah, that shit sucks. So you can see that Sneeko, even Sneeko has been through that situation where he makes a joke, nobody laughs, they all just look at each other awkwardly. And then when the person who's against Nico, they make a joke, everybody laughs because they're socially validated already. So I just wanna go ahead and leave you guys with this, okay? If you guys are gonna roast, which is the synonymous term for teasing, make sure that the person at least consents to it. There's been so many social circles that I've been a part of where the guys, they will, tease each other roast each other sometimes i'll come across certain groups where when you tease each other roast each other for some reason some of the people in the group just cannot laugh at anything you say and it makes you feel bad when you start to become the joke because now you start to feel isolated you start to feel like you're not humorous enough and it can do a lot of damage 
to your self-esteem. So if you ever end up encountering a group like that, if you want, go ahead, set some boundaries. But oftentimes from what I found out, it doesn't really work because they will always retort with something like, oh, well, if you can't hang, then just move forward. Oh, well, if no one's laughing, it's because you're not funny. Like I've been told that so many times and it's hurtful, man. There's been a lot of times where I've doubted my own sense of humor because people have told me that. So I highly suggest that you guys stay away from those groups because if you don't, you're only doing harm to yourself. So yeah, I just kind of want to just go ahead and leave you guys with that because yeah, man, this this hit a little too close to home. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to just advise you guys on that. So anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. You know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, man, that's all I have for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today.